Hello, Slicey Dicers. This is Brian with another kind of knife review for you, sort of knife review. This is the Spyderco Clip It Tool. It is primarily a new Spyderco knife, but it also, as the name would indicate, has some tools on it. So this is kind of a Spyderco Swiss Army knife, Spyderco multi-tool kind of thing. It is not the first of the Clip It Tools. They did make some much smaller ones. Yeah, they started in like 2014. I'm not sure if they still make those or not, but this is the new version just launched this year. It comes in the standard version with a plain edge blade or a rescue tool with a serrated blade and some different tools on it. But I'm reviewing the standard version because uh, I'm not a rescuer person and this is the one that appeals to me the most. I will admit, sometimes I get knives just to review. This one I got uh, out of my own curiosity and just paid full boat for and just wanted to try it out. Not terribly expensive, $51.97. This is a Chinese-made Spyderco with 8CR 13 MOV. Feels like, looks like it's made in all the same places. It's like, you're tenacious, you're efficient, some of the birds, things like that. But a pretty, pretty cool little thing. Let's do some stats before we get too much farther. We're just gonna concentrate on the blade stats because that's the easiest way to do this. You have an overall length of eight inches you have a blade length of three and a half inches. The blade thickness is just under 0 0.10 inches and a handle thickness of 0 0.49 inches and a weight of just 4.19 ounces, which is not too bad for all the stuff you're getting here. You are getting six tools, you're getting the blade, obviously, you're getting a small screwdriver and a can opener and a larger screwdriver slash pry bar thing and a wire stripper or bottle opener. Uh, I think that comes out to six. Maybe I missed one, I'm not sure. But uh, it is a liner lock blade. The rest of these are all slip joints with half stops, which is pretty nice. We'll get to that in a moment. But um, yeah, pretty cool little thing. Let's do some quick size comparisons, get you guys an idea of what this thing looks like. Probably means more than the stats do. Compared to your Spyderco Paramilitary 2, just a little bit shorter, but you can see a lot slimmer. Compared to your Spider Co. Delica, a little bit longer than a Delica is. And we will do Ontario Rat Model 1. Yeah, it's quite a bit smaller than a Rat 1. And lastly, I'm going to show a knife that this really reminds me of, and I assume they're probably made in the same factory over in China. And a knife that I actually do like a lot. This is my favorite of Spider Co.'s economic bird line. The Bird Kara Kara 2 G10, the construction feels almost exactly the same. You can see the G10 looks almost exactly the same. They have a lot of the same design details on them. Uh, but that's, that's I'm not going to say high praise for me, but it's pretty decent praise. Because even though these are 8CR 13 MOV, wah, wah, I do like the blade on the Kara Kara 2 a whole lot. And this is very similar to that, just a little bit shrunken down and smaller. Okay, let's talk more about the design of this thing and the aesthetics. Um, is it pretty? No, but it's not not ugly by any means. You just have multiple spider holes on here. Everything is deployable one hand, which I think is pretty neat. You have little half stops. So if you want to get more torque on these tools, you can. The tool I've used the most in this is definitely this big flathead. I use it more like a pry bar. I'd kind of been thinking about putting a pry bar on my keychain or something but I've been using this and it is it's almost kind of convinced me more to put one on my keychain I'm surprised how often I actually use one of those when I have them around because I've been carrying this for a couple days um, you also have the can opener which I'll I'll probably never use to be honest I've never used one on a Swiss Army knife or anything they're cool to have I guess but I never open them or never use them to open anything uh, but I do use this I have used this little small screwdriver it works pretty well I did use the wire stripper. It works okay. It's not the best wire strippers I've ever had, but uh, it's all right. Bottle opener works great, though. Of course I've used that. Of course I have. Really nice, classy-looking Spyderco clip on it. Um, I think the construction and quality and stuff is pretty good for 52 bucks. It's not bad. Yes, the 8CR is um, slightly disappointing. I wish it was something a little bit better, but... Everything is 8CR 13 MOV. It's a lot of 8CR 13 MOV. So the fact that this is 52 and a Tenacious might cost you about the same. Yeah, there's a lot more 8CR going on in here than there is in a Tenacious, guys. Just saying. Uh, 
this feels like a more of a value than the other spider codes with 8CR feel like because uh, there's a lot more going on here. As I said, it's a liner lock here. It's not pretty e pretty easy to open and close. It's a it's different, you know, because you do have this other tool in the way. One thing I thought from pictures that surely wasn't going to work was the ergonomics on this, and uh, I was wrong. It works pretty good. Hold back here. If if you hold it in the kind of standard saber grip, the only downside to the ergonomics at all is that the hump here on this front tool does force you to grip back pretty far. So with my large size glove skinny fingers barely making it barely making it on there and I do get a bit of a hot spot from the clip but that's never how I carry it I carry it as this front finger choil intends you to which has the great spider co front finger choils this 50 50 choil no hot spots whatsoever this just acts as a little ramp between my fingers no hot spot from the clip no nothing ergonomically in this carry it is excellent. It works really, really shockingly well. I was very surprised. The blade also, it's uh, pretty thin behind the edge. I think it was 22, 23 thousandths, and it's a very thin blade stock. It's very, very slicey. Came very well sharpened out of the box. The, um, the tools work well. As I said, these little half stops work great if you really want to get some torque on some stuff. The tools are just slip joint. They are not not locking in any way but as I said fit and finish is good it's really hard to review this because it's not a, just a pure knife so I'm going to focus more on using it as a pure knife and as a pure knife it works it works pretty darn good guys it really does um very pleasantly surprised with how well it just works as a knife cut through quite a bit of cardboard and stuff with it it was fine I will say it's 8CR, and as I said, I cut through a lot of cardboard, and maybe it's getting close to needing a touch-up, but not really quite yet. Uh, pretty useful little thing. Where do I see the market for this? Well, guys like me, they got me. I went out and bought it. I'm a Spyderco fan. I kind of wanted a... I kind of had in the back of my mind, maybe I should get a bigger Swiss Army knife. I do carry this uh, Super Tinker around a lot, which is a pretty big Swiss Army knife. But I've been kind of looking at some of the larger Swiss Army knives that have kind of a thumb holey thing on them. And was kind of thinking about it. I thought, no, I can get with the Spider Co logo on it, you know? It's just kind of cool. If I'm just, I've, the way I've been carrying this the last few days is just when I had, when I was just beating around the house, you know, and not knowing what I was going to have to do if I had to go out in the garage and work on some stuff. It's just a cool little garage carry knife, I guess is the best way I would describe it. I, it's pretty neat. As I said, the rescue version has completely different tools on it and it has a uh, serrated blade. That one didn't really appeal to me at all. But this is pretty neat, and if it's the start of something, as Eric Lesser said, he designed this, you can see his mark over here. Uh, if this is actually the start of something, as he said, I'm very eager to see some higher end fancier versions. This one actually has proven the concept enough to me that I think I would buy a more expensive version with better steel and you know better materials and, and maybe some different tools on it. It would be really sweet if they could make a way to pick different tools because I don't need two flatheads. That's one thing I will say is that the tool selection, they all work very well, but I'd love to see some kind of Phillips on here or something. Uh, I know that might seem like it would make it thicker, but you know, they do those cool little very thin Phillips heads, uh, screwdrivers, maybe something like that. Um, yeah, maybe even do like a knife maintenance version that has a bunch of torques in it or something. That would be neat. I, I'm just, I'm eager to see what they have coming. It definitely sounds like there's more. But this first one, uh, it really impressed me more than I thought. I did go out and buy it just as a curiosity and thought maybe I would like it. Maybe I would use it as a giveaway or something. But I ain't gonna. I'm gonna keep this thing. I really do like it. Carries well. Fairly deep, uh, very deep carry pocket clip for Spyderco. Uh, Spyderco has been royally screwing that up lately. This time they didn't. It is tip up to tip down, but or I mean, yeah, tip up, tip down, right hand only. Um, yeah, I really have no complaints about this. I'm sorry to be kind of rambly, but I don't normally review quote unquote multi tools. So, uh, but this one is this one's pretty sweet, pretty flipping sweet. I have to say, I do recommend this if you're a Spyderco fan at all, or if you just want a decent you know, pocket semi-multi-tool kind of thing for a work knife. This is great, and it's in a good work knife price. 52 bucks, that's a good work knife price. It's not cheap, but if you beat it up and destroy it, it's not going to be the end of the world. 
So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I recommend the Clip-It tool. I've been Brian. Have a good one.